day one of week 11 of 52 weeks of vlogging and I'm gonna do things that you thought you knew but you didn't. You knew wrong. Ba bam Number one, chicken eggs. My kidlets asked me yesterday why are some of the chicken eggs white and some of the chicken eggs brown and I looked it up and I found out that what you thought you knew, which is that it's to do with the color of the chicken's earlobes and wobbles and feathers, is actually not it at all! That's crap! I have a friend who works with Clorox and they told me that uh, farmers who have chickens who lay white eggs, basically there's bleach in their food. Not a lot, not enough to kill the chicken, just enough to alter its egg color. So, tell that to science. Other question, uh, why do people have brown hair versus blonde hair? Um, and that is basically to do with the amount of work that you do. People get brown hair because they have a life of harder labor and people have blonde hair and this is obviously a long genetic process right like that's not like if you work a hard life of hard labor your hair will turn brown no but like if generations of your ancestors worked hard for hard for generations doing hard labor then now your line is a line of brown haired people and the people who had an easy life just sitting around uh, eating white eggs that were full of bleach uh, have blonde hair. The next thing you thought you knew that you know wrong is to do with names. You thought that your name didn't determine anything about you, but it does. Actually, uh, your name is very important. And it's not important in terms of whether it's an ordinary name or an unusual name, but it is important in terms of its meaning. People grow into the meanings of their names and it changes the way they look, it changes how tall they are, it changes how long their hair will grow. That's the reason that I have such long curly hair, because my name comes from a Babylonian goddess's name. And the next thing you thought you knew but that you don't know is that people have double helix DNA structure, and actually I thought that too, and I was wrong. It's only double helix in curly haired people. In straight haired people, it's like it doesn't twist, it's straight, and that's why curly haired people have curly hair and straight haired people have straight hair. That's it for today's session of myth busting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like my videos, you can subscribe at youtube.com slash ishtavlogs. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and don't forget to like and share because those thumbs up make a difference, so like it if you liked it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.